We're Brad and Jazz, and this is our journey to financial independence. Over three years ago, we sold our first item on eBay, which started our obsession with reselling online. Join us as we share how we make an income reselling items we find at garage sales, thrift stores, and auctions. This week, we visit a new vintage store in Adelaide and review our $6,000 week on eBay. Hey guys, welcome back to Two Aussie Thrifters. We are headed out, as we promised last weekend, to see a new vintage shop that has popped up here in Adelaide from our friend Harvey over at 2CC. So we're gonna take you guys along. We've got some stuff that we might trade with him, uh, but we wanna show you guys what the shop looks like and see if there's any awesome items that we wanna pick up for our personal collections. While we're down that way, we're gonna hit some op shops as well uh, in the area. So we've got about a 15 minute drive, so let's head that way right now. G'day guys, my name's Harvey. This is Second Chance Collective. We're open 11 till 5, Saturdays and Sundays, down here in Fullerton. Come check us out. That was a fun little stop off at 2CC down here at Fulton. So if you're in Adelaide, make sure you come on down, have a look. We uh, ended up doing a little bit of a trade. So Jazzy got a couple shirts, which was nice. And there'll be some cool little items up in 2CC from our little collection. So yeah, he's got an amazing collection in there. I was very impressed. Yeah, some very high end items and uh, some really good prices as well. So make sure you check it out. We're going to hit some op shops while we're in the area, see if we can get anything cool over the weekend and we'll take you guys along. Let's go. <laughs> did a wicked job condensing stock in the shed yesterday and of course now that i have some empty tubs i just want to fill them up again so i am having a cheeky tuesday morning op shop and i've been getting one thing at one stop so far so in my first stop at goodwill we did get these vintage rm williams boots the staff in there are wonderful and they saw me deliberating because the elastic at the top is pretty wacky so i did let them know i really do want these but they're going to need restoration is $60 the best price you can do? And they said, well, love, they only came in on Friday. We've not had them very long, but because they do need some work, sounds fair, we'll do $50. So thank you very much for that. Vintage RM boots for 50, do need some work. And then in the second stop, which is the Salvos Thrift, I saw just peeking over the sign there, brand new with tags nudie jeans for twenty dollars i'll take that every day of the week they are such good quality these retail for 239 dollars usually so i'm very very pleased and in the salvation army the green tags were half price so i got some green pants these were way too expensive um 25 dollars so if that was not half off for 12.50 i would have been leaving them on the rack they also had g-star in there 
pre-owned $65. So that was a bargain considering. I am going to hit one more Vinnie's and hopefully get another bargain. In Vinnie's we got not one but two women's Kathmandu jumpers. They were $12 each and I've only picked them up at that price because they were in really good shape. I'm really happy with what I've got today but I haven't got a lot. I really do need the quality and the quantity so I think I'm gonna have to jump on some auction sites. Maybe we're gonna have to buy a storage locker or something. Check out my zebra shirt that I got from 2CC store. Do you like it? If you're in Adelaide, definitely get down there. Actually really good prices and sick gear. Let's have a look at the weekend, no, the whole week breakdown. We had a daily sales target this week of 714.28 gross every day and we were going really strong. A bit of a dip on Tuesday, but came back strong for Wednesday and Thursday. And then the long weekend happened. And I don't know if everyone was out camping or what, but we dropped right off and had a pretty slow Friday and Saturday. Luckily, because we were so strong early in the week, we did finish off the week with 6,360.82, which means that on average, we actually were doing 908.68 every day if it evens out in the wash. So we are happy with that. But now that we've seen this figure, we kind of would really like a 7k 7 day because we are just never satisfied. So to kick off this week, this morning before I even got out of bed, I refreshed and sold similar on 21 of our eBay items. I also jumped on Depop and bumped some of our items on there, even though Depop hasn't been doing anything for us because I probably haven't been putting enough time into it. I also jumped on Poshmark and shared some of our listings and we have had a couple of sales on Posh, so hopefully I've set us up for a good start. And our traffic does feel a bit more regular already. It's 10.30 and so far we've sold a bundle of three CDs for 53 bucks. Uh, G-Star pre-owned Attack Low is the style, sold for $55. And a little Harley Davidson light jacket for 60 bucks. And they're gonna pay shipping because it's going to the UK. bring on the sales. There is nothing I like to photograph more than high quality clothing like we got today guys, especially a pair of vintage leather boots that I get to buff up. I find it so satisfying. If you're interested in any of the products that we use, like our leather conditioner, then you can find those things in the description below. Those links are affiliate links, so if you click on it, we do get a small kickback. We also have things down there like the satchels that we use for packaging. And if you don't like the idea of that, you can just copy and paste the name and we won't get nothing. <laughs> Next week, we hope to investigate some alternative sourcing strategies. If you have made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate every single one of you and we will see you again next week. Bye.